Hello, I'm Hugh Lund. Welcome to the Proof Park YouTube channel. So, I just finished the interview with Faye Muller uh, and I'm about to take the box of items that Faye is loaning to the Queensland Tennis Authority over to the, uh, the central office. Um, um, as in all cases when I collect these things, I don't particularly like to have them in my possession for too long. But I just thought I'd quickly go through some of the items. Uh, there's uh, 100th anniversary um, tea spoons um, from the 1988. There is a couple of unengraved but uh, detailed little memory uh, notes attached to them. But the really most important items that Faye is loaning are the two plates that signify the win of the Wilson Cup. Um, and they are just a significant piece of history. Uh, and I'll just quickly unwrap them. Uh, and two of the items were these uh, trophies from 1952 uh, and presented to Faye Muller uh, as a member of the winning um, team for the Wilson Cup. Uh, and it's just an incredible, uh, generous donation and loan that Faye's making. Uh, and there are other items sitting in the box, um, a couple of trophies, some of which have got full identification, but Faye's attached little notes to Ken to go with them and also some souvenir teaspoons. Uh, just a, a really generous act on Faye's behalf. And with that I'll say good afternoon and thank you. Afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Peter Rassi here from Fruit Park YouTube channel. It's my great honour this afternoon to be interviewing Faye Muller. Now Faye's um, historic pos position in the tennis history of Queensland <coughs> uh, centres uh, when in, uh, Mary Schultz and Faye uh, were the first winners for Queensland of the Wilson Cup, which was the Junior Females Tennis Trophy. Now, Faye, if you could just give us a little bit of an update uh, and um, feel of what it was like to play in those uh, night, early 1950s and uh, just how thrilled you were to be able to, uh, to claim that trophy. Yes, Peter, well, um Mary Schultz and I were selected in the team. Only two of us went. It was played in Sydney that year. And I don't know what would have happened if we'd have had an injury or broken down. Uh, we had no reserve or third player. Um, and we won that uh, event. It took all week to play. It preceded the Australian Open Championship. Uh, you played every state in Australia, that was uh, New South Wales, Victoria, Tasmania and South Australia, and Western Australia. Um, it, was, it was a really tough event because you played singles and doubles every day and they were all very difficult matches yeah. and sure enough I was thrilled because it was the first time I had been out of Queensland, out of Brisbane and uh, yeah, absolutely thrilled with that. Yep. Um, the, the next year uh, Mary Schultz and I were again selected um, and Daphne Seney was added to the team. Uh, we played in Adelaide that year. It was very, very hot, 40 degrees on those hot, windy days in Adelaide. Um, so that was, we won that then, that year undefeated. The previous year it was a struggle and I think there was a count back routine at the end on sets or yep. something like that. And, um, um, so sorry. that was in Adelaide, beautiful grass courts in Adelaide, uh, just superb really. Yeah. And again, just, uh, uh, just a piece of uh, Queensland history. Now, I hope you've been enjoying the uh, YouTubes of uh, Fruit Park uh, Milton mm -hmm. over the period of times. Uh, Peter, I must congratulate you for Good the morning. Week. My name is Daphne Franca. I hope you are enjoying watching the Fruit Park YouTube channel. Yeah, well.